guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my May favorites. May was a great month, it always is. This past month I actually celebrated a birthday. At the end of the month I turned 24. So to get started into my favorites video, I'm going to go over things that I have been loving this past month. The first couple of items I want to talk about are just some clothing pieces that I loved wearing all throughout of May. They were just items I gravitated to. The first thing is just kind of a lot, it's quite general, but it is ball caps. Um, not specifically this ball cap, however, I have been wearing this ball cap a lot recently. I never used to wear ball caps because I found that I have a really small head. So I'm really excited that I've been finding hats that are cute and that fit my head and just lately when I'm having a dirty hair day or a day I don't want to do my hair, I just throw on a ball cap. I'm wearing this plain black ball cap a lot lately. I just love how it's just plain black but and it's just like your typical like old school dad hat and then I really love the little spiritual gangster uh, logo on the front of it. And I love how this one has the hole in the back, so if I want to wear my hair up, like when I'm playing softball, I can wear this hat, and it is just, it's just awesome. I love hats. The second clothing item I have here is actually an item I talked about in my spring clothing trends video I posted a couple weeks ago. It is the Spiritual Gangster Cargo Army Jacket that I talked about with the awesome hands of hand on the back of it. This jacket has been, I just love this jacket. I was so excited to get it uh, this past month and I've been wearing it so much. I've been really liking to wear just like plain t-shirts and just some sneakers and jeans and I just, this is just such a cute thing to just throw over to finish off an outfit. I've just been loving it. It's just such an awesome jacket and it has totally been probably my favorite clothing piece in my closet this month. To start, the item that I have is really random, but when I explain to you guys why it's been a favorite for me, you will totally understand. It is just your natural tea tree oil. I, the reason I loved tea tree oil this past month is for some reason I don't know why. I don't normally have a lot of pimples, and this past month I did find that I broke out a lot. I don't know if it was something that I used that my skin didn't like, but I got a lot more pimples than I usually do. I got some along my chin, on my forehead, um, just places that were hard to hide pimples and they were painful. So I actually heard on a video, I don't remember whose it was, but that tea tree oil is a really good way to get rid of pimples. So um, at night I would just put a little dab of this on my finger and apply it to my zit and it would literally, I hate the smell of tea tree oil, I'll be honest, I'm not a fan of it, but I pulled through and put it on my zit and the next day my zit was, it wasn't completely gone, but it, you could definitely tell the tea tree oil made a huge difference. It kind of started to dry it up and I noticed that my pimple went away so much quicker than when I just used any other like spot treatment on it. So if you guys have a random just painful zit that you want to get rid of fast, I definitely recommend just getting a natural bottle of tea tree oil and applying that to your zit and then yeah, it's kind of amazing and I'm really sad I didn't know about it a while ago. The next skincare item I have been loving, not just this month, but quite a bit lately, and it is the Neutrogena Alcohol Free Toner. Once I really started wearing a lot of makeup, I didn't really realize how important a toner was in your skincare. I was just using a small sample of a Clinique toner, which I did really like, but I was running low on that and I wanted to just try a new one. So. I just saw this one, it was I think on sale, and I picked it up and I just really like it. I love the smell of it, I love how clean my face feels, it doesn't dry my skin out. It just smells so clean and fresh, I've been really liking it, so I will definitely repurchase this. Next item I have here is just a little tiny tester of the Black Opium Floral Shock perfume. I got this tester in one of my shopping bags when I was at a drugstore and I smelt it and oh it is so it smells so good. It's, it's got your strong perfume smell but it's also 
really like fruity at the same time so it's not super overpowering and so I'm super sad my dog wants to play I'm super sad <laughs> Stuart I'm super sad that I've used up this little tester. I know I have a lot of perfumes already, but I love this one so much that I'm probably just gonna cave and buy a full size of it just because I loved it so much. Why not? You wanna come into my video? You wanna tell the world what your May favorites were? <laughs> she just stares right into the camera. This is my dog, Stuart. If you hear a lot of footprints and growling, it's it's this guy. He's a uh, really hyper. But mean Stuart. He's my little Morky. Eh? Hey? Yeah, I love him. So. Next item I want to talk about is a primer. I am really late on the bandwagon. I haven't splurged on a good primer. And the one I had was really good at blurring and getting rid of redness and stuff, but I didn't have a good one to um, eliminate my pores. I decided to try the Porefessional Primer. I know I've heard a lot of good things about it, and I agreed. I really did like this primer. The texture is a lot different than what I was used to. It's very silicone-y. This definitely helps prime my face before I put on my foundation, and I do find that it really helps get rid of just my small pores and just fill them in and make my skin more flawless for the rest of the makeup I will be applying. Uh, the next item I, I've had for a couple months now and I just like, it's going to keep being my favorites month after month after month and it is the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. I've tried a lot of drugstore mascaras in my lifetime and none have compared to this one. Even if you don't like rubber brushes, the formula of this mascara is seriously, it's so good. It doesn't transfer, it, it dries on your lashes so that if you curl your lashes, it keeps them really nicely curled. It's really hard to take off at night, but that is totally fine because I know that it's staying on my lashes like I want it to. It's not transferring. It doesn't crumble. Seriously, if you haven't tried this mascara, I know it is a bit more pricey than a lot of the drugs than a lot of the drugstore mascaras out there, but it is totally, totally worth its price. I feel like it should be a high-end mascara, and it's not. So if you haven't tried this one, I definitely would recommend it. The next thing is a lip product. I heard um, about these lip pencils on Tati's channel. She really likes them, so I thought. Why not give them a try? They are the Makeup Forever Aqua Lip Pencils. I love the way these glide on your lips. They're so soft and so smooth. They're not axy. I find they stay in place, which is awesome, and that's what you need when you're applying a uh, lip liner. And I just really love the color of this one. It is the color... Well, it just says Greasy on here. I do know there is a color name, I just don't think it says it on the actual lip pencil. But yeah, on the... I guess just look for the one that says 3C. It's kind of like a nudie, pinky color. It just looks really pretty with a lot of my lipsticks. It is actually a waterproof lip liner, which is probably why I love it so much, because it stays on all day. So, yeah, if you are at somewhere that carries Makeup Forever, I highly recommend their lip liners. I do want to get this lip liner in more colors, because I love it. Last but not least, I am going to finish this video off with a finishing spray. It is the Pixie Beauty Finishing Makeup Fixing Mist in the Rose Water and Green Tea. First of all, this smells so good. It smells so fresh when I put it on after my makeup. I'm just like, I feel so revived in the morning and awake. What I like to do with a lot of my finishing sprays to really make them go the extra mile is once I've started my face, I like to take a beauty sponge and just like push that makeup in and really lock it in so that the finishing mist isn't just sitting like on the 
top of my skin or like on like the little baby hairs I have like I really noticed that it makes the hugest difference I look in the mirror at the end of the day when I notice that my makeup's usually really like blotchy in areas not only is this fixing spray amazing but if you pair it with your beauty sponge and do that technique I find that your your fixing spray can go the extra mile all right guys so a lot about covers it those were all my Favorite things that I've been loving in the month of May. Thanks again so much for watching my videos. Please, please, please don't forget to subscribe. I have been loving this adventure that I'm kind of taking on doing YouTube videos. I was always on the fence about doing them and just one day I just said, I'm going to take my camera on holidays with me and film them and just kind of get more comfortable in front of a camera and after that, it kind of just dominoed from there, and I just wanted to just sit down and share a new passion that I've recently started to love, which is makeup and beauty. And uh, you haven't already, please go follow all my other social media accounts. I am on Snapchat and I am on Instagram. I will always link those accounts down below, so if you want to go follow those, please do. My computer wouldn't let me finish this outro, so thanks again, you guys, for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Bye.